Today, I decided to build a paper airplane crossbow. First, I used a miter saw to cut a 2x2 two two piece of lumber down to 3 feet long. Then I set the table saw to cut a 3 8 inch deep groove down the length of the 2x2. Two two. The table saw blade is 1 8 inch thick. Then drill two 5 8 inch holes through the 2x2. Two two. These will be for the copper tubing. Use a chop saw to cut the 1 half inch copper tubing down to 2 feet long. Then cut another piece about 6 inches long. Use a punch tool to punch a divot in each end of the longer copper tubing. Then drill a 5 8 inch hole through each side all the way through. Use a file to file away all the little shavings, because this is where the latex tubing is going to go and we don't want to rip it. Then fit the longer one through the hole that you drilled. I used a jigsaw to cut out the basic shape of my bolt. Then I used a scroll saw to cut out all the fine details. The bolt was a little bit snug in the slot, so I had to sand down both sides, and that way it slides nice and smooth. I drilled a 3 8 inch hole through the middle, because this is where your latex tubing is going to go. Then I reinforced the front with some aluminum tape because it started to fall apart after a few test fires. I cut a small notch on the bottom of the front, and this allows the hardboard to sit inside of your paper airplane and give it a really good push and keep it pressed into the slot. The notch on top of the back allows the trigger to sit inside and hold the bolt back, and then the 45 degree cut on the back allows the trigger to push up the side and fall into the notch. So go ahead and thread your latex tubing through the bolt and then tie it on both ends to the copper tubing. Then use a zip tie to zip tie both ends nice and tight. Originally I didn't do this and it fell off. This is what your trigger mechanism should look like. You want to cut something out of a strong enough piece of wood to make this. The rubber bands keep the front end pressed down and that way the little notch can set inside the bolt. Then you just press down on the back so the front lifts up and the bolt will shoot forwards. I drilled another 5 8 inch hole under the trigger and it only went in about a half inch. This allows me to put my smaller piece of copper tubing in the back and use it as a handle. I drilled another small 1 half inch hole underneath the crossbow at its center of gravity so I could set a quarter inch screw in there. Then I screwed it down with half inch wood screws to hold it in place. Now I can attach my tripod fixture and then mount the entire crossbow onto a tripod. Give it a test. Looks good. Alright, time to try it out. Pull the bolt back and hold it in place with the trigger. Then load up the airplane. Take aim and find your target and then fire! Huge success. That one went really good. This project was a lot of fun and we'll see what I can come up with next time.